If masking is so exhausting and ultimately unhealthy for neurodivergent people, then why do they mask so much at work? Neurodivergent people, you'll know this answer, but this is really important for leaders and employers to know. So we mask to get the job. We mask to make connections at work, to feel a sense of belonging, but it's not really belonging because it's not really us. So we look like we're fitting in, but we don't really belong. We fear stigma and stereotypes. We fear bullying. Sometimes we mask to emotionally regulate others, to keep other people comfortable, to avoid conflict. Often we mask so that we can get the promotion. It's important to know that masking ultimately is not healthy for us. And so to offer an environment that is inclusive, I call it neuro belonging, an environment where all neurotypes can belong, where there's accessibility for all, is really the goal. On top of that, leaders with power and privilege need to be in the rooms, not that just the ERG rooms, but all the rooms need to be there for not just policy and on paper, the policies, your DEI policies, but the strategy needs to be there. The implementation needs to be there. The follow through needs to be there. And your leadership in understanding neurodiversity and neurodiversity affirming practices and really prioritizing neuro belonging has to be there in order for you to hire and retain and promote, hopefully, neurodivergent employees.